Samoka Dule. You don't know what we were saying, that's just fab shop code talk, so the bosses don't know what we're talking about. And if you start to realize what we're saying, that means you've been watching way too many of these videos. Fab shop gibberish. <laughs> Coming on out. I got some scarring on the edge trying to put that radius in there. Well, I got the radius in, I had to go back and try to get their little scars out. Kind of like hammer and dialing. Coming out pretty good. There's a couple of them. They're getting smashed on that edge. I forgot to put a piece of rubber over it. Didn't realize how hard I was going to have to hit it to get it to bend, but they're coming out all right. Take it all, hammer up on that. It's pretty damn cool. Getting there, huh? Starting to look like a fender. Cool looking piece. Thank you. Definitely kicking my butt. I'll be trying hard. Yeah. What's that? Can't hardly see it, but it swoops out just a little bit. Saves the way down to nothing. This bulged out area for the wheel. Oh, you yeah. See it. Barely see it, but it's there. Caper down to nothing. Just fades out. In the back, too. 
back you might be able to see a little better. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's it. Okay. Little details. It starts up here. And just kind of fades out. I just know everything around here. You heard it here, folks. Just can't blame Connor. Connor knows everything about this place. He's the man to ask. Nope. Only when things get lost. If you're missing floor mats, he's the one to talk to. That's <laughs> right. That's why we call him. So I need floor mats. That's why we call him Floor Mat Connor. That's right. I lost my scissors. Look at that brittle pad hair. <laughs> <laughs> need to clean your wheels, use that head. Right. So are we done with this side now? Now I got hammer and dolly and weld it all together and figure out where the rocker is going to break so that I can take it on and off and cut all this metal out from the hang. So I got to make this piece, this piece, that piece, and everyone be done. Is this piece going in at all? This one? Yeah. It's going in a little bit. Can't go very much or they're worried about some body work in there and stuff. No. Yeah. Kick in there a little bit. Gotta figure out how much room I have. How what? How much room I have so it doesn't interfere with door hinges. You know, you got your door hinges and shit are in there. Oh, yeah. You always gotta think like what's behind the wall on the other side. So, that'd be cool. Rotate it way in, make it super deep. My original plan was it being really deep and tying in with the inner fenders, mm -hmm. sort of like a heat escape. But with the size of the tire and everything, that passageway would be interfering with the steering of the tire. Uh, so, like I said, thinking way ahead and way forward of what you're doing, you can't just focus on making this section cool. It's got to tie into everything and, and work. So. With the steering radius of the big fat wheels on the front, it cut me limited on space for doing that idea. What I'm actually gonna do is kick it in a little bit. It's bumped out an inch and a half away from the body here, right here now. Now if I kick it in, and we can get it to two and a half inches, it'll look extremely deep, but really it's just angled in a little bit. And we'll do a filler panel down inside there. This will actually just be decorational all when it's all said and done. So body shop will black that out down inside there, my block off plate so rainwater and stuff don't fly through here. It'll be blocked off and then we'll like 3D print a fancy little grill, like a mesh grill or something that clips down inside there. So from this angle, it'll look like almost like an OEM car, like a Corvette or a Lamborghini or something has a nice little vent down and everything we'll have that going on and it'll probably be the same thing on that side there'll be like a debris vent it pops down inside that scoop uh, to keep birds and whatever may want to go in there keep the birds up. and it keeps everything matching so that will whatever we create here will be our grill let's say so this so the grills that go in the, on the back above the radiator fans and inside scoop uh, our intercooler scoop will then take that creation and make it fit on all of our stuff so everything will look the same it won't be three or four different style grills or meshes or whatever you want to call it so whatever i figure out to do here we'll do throughout the whole car uh, and It'll end up being cool. 
uh, just trying to figure out something there what my why I was standing there scratching my head when I kick that in I only have so much space and then I have to make the clothes off in all the metal and then a way to attach whatever plastic grill goes down in there so if I make it so skinny there's no detail if I make it too fat then it lo looks weird so you gotta grab that happy medium and I'm thinking if I can kick that in about three inches but then it's so short go in three inches is that too much to where it looks straight too steep so yeah it'll be close two or three inches Man. but that'll look good exaggerated like right. that just playing playing a lot of a lot of different numbers here so what i'll do is i'll get that cut loose to try to rotate that panel in or we'll cut that panel out and make a rotated in panel and uh see what we have to play with if it's cut loose I can push it in and out I believe and then we'll crib it up where we like it and then figure out what we're doing after that then there's still lots of hammer and dolly in to do but like I get this absolutely as perfect as I get it and then I bang it up welding on all this and I wasted time so any of this little shit that you see when we're said and done we'll get rid of that it's like there's still a lot of work to do all the way down the side of the car is that to finish the metal? Yeah. It's looking awesome so far. Yeah, we got the rocker all boxed in. It's boxed all the way to the chassis on the bottom side. This will be welded up and blended away. It'll be one piece. But right now, that's just how I get these pieces on and off. Yeah. Once I start welding all this shit together, the piece gets so big you can't even work it because it's just massive. Yeah. The weight of itself starts distorting everything so right now I can break it down into pieces that I got to work I guess is one big piece but I don't need that big leg on there so I can unbolt it or unscrew it there do my thing now when I'm done and I'm ready we'll cut it and splice it all in and then weld up them screw holes and then it'll be one big piece but I'm not ready for that yet yeah build confidence before we get it all one big piece <laughs> You're getting close to it. So that's where I'm at. Got to get this flow here really good. It's a little tight right there. I got to back that back out. Got damaged when I was trying to radius it. So it makes it look like it's got a kink in it. And it's actually just thin there. And then it gets fat again. We got to get that out. And then make sure we're flowing good. And then we'll work on that panel. Getting that panel in. Fill this and fill that. And then... I'll hammer and dolly a little more on there, feeling good about that, and then we'll go to the back, I think, and start filling in this gap here. You know, this panel has to be worked to get over, and it'll tie into this panel, and it's the same same as the front. That panel's already massive. I don't want to keep adding all these branches and legs to it, so, but I got to do a lot of work here. This is a little tight. I got to stretch this all out to get it to want to follow this line here. So, not not nothing we can't handle. We just something we got to do. Just shit added to the list. And then the same thing. Come back and do some vinyl hammer and a dolly. And then, then just maybe we'll call this side done to where I could take it all off. Weld all the inner panels, and then cut the old metal away the old corvair metal away and then start welding all these panels on you said we're doing new doors for this thing no. yeah, we're going to do new doors these found doors nicer ones. crashed and rusted and everything everything you can do to a door this door done had it so it, it's crashed and rusted and banged up everywhere so we're trying to find two new doors we'll get them stripped down into bare metal and I'm sure we'll have to do some rush repairs, like all this shit, on the new doors. If we got lucky and got rust-free doors, great, but I doubt it. So we'll do the rust repairs and get them stripped down so the whole side's flowing in bare metal. Then we can actually see what we got. See, uh, it, once it's all in bare metal, one uniform color, it starts to get aggressive. Right now, your eye goes to all the patches. You know, you got a white door and silver this and a gray that and a black top. Once you get it uniformed in, it'd be like, they'll start talking to you like the color, what color we need. We need to lower it a little more or what, what we need. So 
Uh, I'm anxious to get the Dora and get it all stripped down, but 69 Corvair with no aftermarket parts, AMD, you ain't making Corvair parts, but I get it. There's not many Corvairs on the road. There wasn't many produced. So we had to find 69 Corvair or whatever the year span doors that interchange new to it in so if you're out there and you got some Corvair doors call classic car studios we got some cash money honey we want to buy some doors either that or i gotta repair this or make a door skin <laughs> i don't want to do some that doors. might have to reskin them yeah guys are like you made all this shit and you're worried about buying a door make a door like it's all pain in the ass it, it's cheaper on the customer and the shop if we can buy something versus making it by hand. Making it by hand takes forever long. Yeah. If we're, we're only going to modify the mirror mounts and the door handle area and we can get some good doors. That's what we need, some good doors. Right now though, I've been able to take that thing back off. Can you take it back off? Yeah, take the front off and then... Look at what I gotta do here. Get that panel cut away, make a new panel to put in there, whatever. I'll mark it up. Mark this up where we're at. It's supposed to be right on that body line. Hard to put, get the curve to flow with that body line. It's got the body line in there. Another tricky piece. Yeah, all tricky. Cut it all out. Yeah. Like, move, bitch, get out the way. <laughs> hey, look at that big ass opening. It won't be that big. I just overdid it to get it out of the way now. It looks cool, though. Bring it back. That's cool how it matches the back. Big ol' hole. Big ol' hole. Big ol' hole. That looks badass. <laughs> I like it big and exaggerated like that. That looks yeah. fucking cool. Yeah, I mean, I, mean, I can leave it deep, I guess. I have to add it up to it. But. It's, uh, this thing's wild. It needs some crazy curves. It helps it stand out. You worried about it like throwing rocks down the side or something? Well, it's going to be closed off because the original plan was this was going to curve in and tie into the engine bay and let the heat out. But as you can see, the tires yeah. all in the way. So I can't do that. So it's going to have like a little wall here. So it's just going to be a fake scoop with a grill in it. But I can only go so far and so deep because the wheel has to turn and have travel. That's the whole problem. You know what I mean? When the wheel's spinning, if I was too deep and we turn, turn and hit a bump, you know, you hit, you ain't got no travel there. So. Yeah. 
from that back. Because of it being a rear engine car and a get go, this area is really small on this car, which makes it cool looking. Like all the mid engine, rear engine Ferraris and stuff, this section's real small. The wheel's real close to the door opening. So, with that being done on this car, too, we only got so much real estate here to play with. So, I can't do the big flow through like originally planned because of the tire clearance. So, it'll still have a scoop here and everything. It's just how big is the scoop? I got to close it up a little bit. It'll still be cool. People that see the car done won't even realize that. Oh, they didn't finish their plan. It'll still be a scoop. It'll match the back. Just the front one won't be functional. More eye candy scoop. But we got our body line in the scoop following through the door. Goes through the scoop. Kind of cool. Yeah, that's a nice touch. Very cool. Where's the shirt? deep and just put like a mesh screen in there that's what i'm saying i can't i can't have it hanging over the tire the tire has to travel up and down see how this curves over the tire yeah well the travel goes up and down behind it so if this piece is curving over the tire the tire will hit it you know when you hit a big bump it'll this picture this is deep over the tire and you know right there when you hit a bump where right here you hit a bump the tire goes behind the fender you see what i'm saying it's just hanging over yeah. the outside edge well this will be but isn't this going to be flat then oh that's going to be flat right like an inner fender no they never are look huh It'll be flat. back there where it's travel see that look underneath here look. yeah see, see how it drops way in yeah that drop way in is that's your suspension travel that's that much room all the way around oh okay so yeah yeah, yeah yeah okay i got you so if we made this scoop come it, it deep be right here the then, then it would be hitting it's gotta go in gotcha right. okay so. you're right i can only make it so deep and so far down to have the clearance. I want it to be crazy. I wanted it to go all the way through. I wanted you to see daylight coming through the inner fender. I had a whole idea of the inner fenders coming down with like a scoop where you could see the outside light shining through, make you try to follow it. Like, holy oh, shit, you can see outside. I thought that would be super cool. But big old fat tires need their space and they don't play well with others when they start getting too close they rub and make noises and then the customers complain and then the boss gets on my ass his car's rubbing and then we got to get out the hacksaw and cut it all out and start over so instead of doing that we just make a smaller <laughs> <laughs> back to reality we just make smaller uh, scoop and that's that Damn, he wants to drive it? Okay. Yeah, he's got it. I thought this was trophy chasing. Hey, Danny. We're going to make some hey, cool spaceship. Like, what do you think about just having it just look cool with no front suspension? We do no front suspension, we can make some badass. Oh, yeah, I bet. <laughs> do all kinds of crazy shit. Yeah. We're like, oh, no, 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 don't drive it. Just look at it. <laughs> Yeah, buddy. <laughs> I was gonna ask you, why is there 20 lines on there? 
I keep changing my mind and I can't reach with the pin with the panel in with the wheel well and the tire so I'm holding the end of the pin and just scribbling in there to give me a ballpark. It's just a ballpark. I just got to get some excess material off but I keep changing my mind getting scared like oh let's not cut that much let's not cut that much but Better pick I want right it line. as deep as I can possibly have it and still have the wheels have full travel of suspension. There's nothing worse than getting your car all built and take it for a ride in the first corner and bump or drop pulling up in a drive and the tire rubs. That drives me crazy. So I build all my shit to have extra clearance so that that never happens. But trying to have a big deep vent and tire clearance, they're, they're clashing. So I'm gonna sneak up on it and have to move the wheel up and down and see what my max is. I know this is too much. So I'm gonna trim away, try to work it, trim away, try to work it. It may, it might have more room than I think, but it's easier to just keep trimming, trimming away. down in there. I get in there and weld it, then I gotta try and finish, metal finish it up. You get limited because the tools are so big you can't reach down in there. Then the body shop pissed off because I didn't get it all smoothed out, but then they can't get it smoothed out either, so I gotta figure something out there. I'll figure it out. Just thoughts are a little different now that I got it off the car and seeing what I'm seeing.
So that's going to wrap it up for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like this video, comment down below, or leave a question. That helps us out a lot. Subscribe, turn on notifications, share the channel with your friend. And as always, the best way to support the channel is to buy some merch. Go to store.classicarstudio.com. We have a new hoodie, zip-up hoodie in stock. If you've seen our whiskey logo t-shirt, we now have a zip-up hoodie. Very cool. Big logo on the back, little logo on the front. Zip up. Go to store.classicarstudio to pick one up. So moving on in the Corvair build series, we're going to move to the rear of the vehicle. And Scott is going to be working on the rear inlets and the piece that wraps inside the vehicle to help draw air in. Uh, we're moving the radiator and condensers to the rear of the vehicle to give us more space in the front because we're putting a Nelson Racing Twin Turbo LS V8 up front. There's not a whole lot of room. And we want to be able to do really cool inner fenders and all kinds of cool stuff up there to dress up the engine bay. So it's just easier to move that to the back. And then we're going to run hard lines underneath the vehicle to the radiator fans that blow out the back where the trunk is. So that'll be a cool video. And then moving forward, we're going to jump into the driver's side door. Our current door on the driver's side has rot in the corners and they don't make reproduction doors or door skins. So if you're in a position like this, usually what the best thing to do is to just find a door that's in better shape than the one you have. It saves you a lot of time and it's usually cheaper. But unfortunately, there's not a lot of 69 Corvair doors out there. We couldn't find one. So plan B is to just peel the old door skin off and make a new one. That's going to be a two-part series, so stay tuned for that. And there's going to be a bunch of other build videos sprinkled in between these Corvair videos. We have the 56 F100 that's moving along, the 70 Chevelle convertibles and paint and body, 59 Apaches and paint and body. We have a 59 Corvette we're working on. There's fabrication going on with the 70 Mustang Fastback GT350. Uh, 68 Chevelle is getting finished, so there's lots of cool stuff coming up. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you to like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss any of these videos. And the best way to support the channel, as always, is to buy some merch. Go to store.classicarstudio.com. Links up above, down below. It helps us out greatly. And that's all I've got for you. So until the next video, thanks for watching.